channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you what's in my bag. So I am currently a second year radiologic technology student at a two year college. In total, it takes four years to get your degree in radiology, two years of prereqs, and two years of the actual program. So today I just wanted to show you guys what's in my bag, if any of you are interested in attending radiology school or you just started and want to know what it's like, what supplies you'll need, what to bring, stay tuned for this video. So each program is different, each program requires different things, different um, textbooks, different supplies, but I'm just going to give you guys a general idea of what's important and what you'll need and what I need as a radiology student. Okay, so first things first, this is my bag. It's just a cute light pink bag that I got off of Amazon. And I think I got it for like less than $30. And I really like it. Um, it has handles so you can hold it like a purse. And it also has the actual backpack straps to put around your back. So I really like this bag. Um, I got it at the beginning of my senior year. So I got tired of my other backpack. I wanted something new. So I got this one and I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out. So one thing about this bag, it has many compartments. So there's a compartment here in the back that opens up to the main backpack. It has two water bottle holders. Sorry y'all, it's heavy, I have a lot of stuff in here. And this is what the inside looks like. Just like an overview. Okay, so first things first. I have a little pouch right here. And inside, I have my keys. My wallet. extra markers because if you are a rad tech or a rad tech student you know these markers can get easily lost in the patient's bed on the ground in your car so it's very important to have an extra set of markers because you don't want to be that student who <laughs> forgets their markers or loses their markers and you have to borrow somebody else's you don't want to be that student by the way, sorry if you guys see me looking up. I'm like looking at myself in the frame to make sure that it's good. <laughs> Next, I just have an extra pencil um, just in case I forget my pencil bag. I don't pack it in my bag. Always want to have a pencil. Okay, so going into the big part of my backpack, there are these side, I don't know if you guys can see that. There are these side slots, kind of hard to see. But, so first things first, I have a stapler. I am that student who likes to come prepared. Um, we get a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff we have to staple. So I like to keep a stapler on deck. Next, I have some lotion. Um, I got this bottle and a travel kit that I got when I was taking a trip. And I just filled it up with some lotion that I had. Because you want to keep lotion. My hands get dry. You're washing your hands a lot. You want to keep lotion on you. And then I have my water bottle. This is my Brita. This is my Brita water bottle. I got it off Amazon. I think it was around $20. And this water bottle comes in clutch, y'all. I highly recommend. You want to make sure you bring water to class too, because them lectures be long and you gotta stay hydrated. Next, I have my pencil bag. It's really cute pencil bag. I actually got this pencil bag when I went to Bali a few years ago for spring break and I absolutely love it. It is still holding up and it's been years y'all. So this is a super cute pencil bag and inside I just keep like these sticky notes to take notes, uh, a little ruler and then I have pens, pencils, sharpie, extra staples for my stapler and then this big eraser i like to say prepared 
Okay, so that stuff I keep in these two compartments here. You can see. And so right behind it, there's like a zip up pouch. And I just keep an extra hand sanitizer. If you are working in the medical field or any field for that case, you want to make sure that you keep hand sanitizer on deck because you are constantly touching things, people, equipment, and you want to make sure that you keep your hands clean at all times. So I have that. And then I just have this plastic fork and butter knife because sometimes I go on lunch, I bring food, and I don't have utensils. So I just keep this just in case. All right, so next I have these goggles which i keep in the plastic but yeah so these are just some goggles i got off amazon and you will need goggles if you are um doing your internship in a hospital because a lot of times we go to rooms with patients that have airborne diseases or covid and you want to make sure that you protect your eyes so i got my own goggles um Sometimes they have the disposable ones with the whole mask shield, but those tend to fog up a lot and I really like these because they don't fog up. And this is the Honeywell Uvex brand. Let me see if the book There it is, Honeywell Uvex. So next I have my pencil bag for clinical. I don't know where I got this bag from, honestly. I think it came with a gift set or something. But in here, I keep all of my markers and highlighters for clinical because we have to write down all of our procedures, all of the procedures that we've done, the session number and the text name and um, signature they have to sign. So I like to give them each a specific color to make it easier to find their name because y'all, you will get a lot. Like there's so many procedures you have to do, so many numbers you need. So I keep that. And then I just have this whiteout, just a big whiteout strip in case I mess up. Focus. <laughs> in case I mess up, because I write everything in pen. Um, you want to make sure you write everything in pen. So I keep a whiteout on deck. And then I just have this sticky note pad, post-it pad. In case I want to take notes or something. Okay, so next I have uh, my clinical notebook. So this is my notebook, Focus. I got it from Target and it says Kaiser, I usually label whatever um, hospital that I'm at at the time on top so I'll know and it's a nice little notebook, it's great for taking notes, I made a little tab at the top, I don't know if you guys can see that, that says notes, so sometimes it gets really busy in the hospital and you might just write down the number real quick, jot it down, and then later transfer it to the official paper that you'll have to turn in at the end of the semester. So this notebook is great. Like I said, I got it from Target, and I highly recommend it because who wants to carry a big notebook or composition book around with them? Like this fits right in my pocket, just like that, and I'm set. Okay, so next I have my bronze my Bond Traeger's Handbook of Radiographic Procedures and Techniques. Um, you will need this as a student. Uh, this just has every single x-ray position, how it should look, techniques, and SID, all that. So this is the pocketbook. Um, I carry this around with me everywhere at every single hospital just to make sure that if there's an exam that I'm not sure of, that I forget, uh, what's the SID, how much angulation, um, or just how to position the patient, I pull this book out, this handy book, and I look up the procedure, and you're good to go. Now, a lot of times, the text will help you if you need help, but sometimes it gets really busy. There may not be a tech or instructor around, and this book will come in handy, especially as a new student, and I heard even as a new grad, you might get something that you didn't practice as much as a student. So, this will definitely come in handy. Um, it's all messed up because I carry it with me every day. Uh, it was a requirement for our, pro for our program, personally. 
um but if it's not i highly recommend it personally okay so next i have my ipad um this comes in handy this is the ipad mini fifth edition and ooh, a little dusty <laughs> um I highly, highly recommend an iPad. I keep my textbooks on here because I'm more of a digital textbooks type of girl. So I keep my textbooks on here if I need to take notes, if I need to record. This iPad comes in handy. So I keep it with me in my backpack. Next, I just have a notebook. So I'm currently taking two classes and I've, I've come to realize that I don't need two notebooks like all I need is one big giant notebook I split it in half like this one class will be in the front the other class will be towards the back and I'm good to go because my backpack is already super full as you guys can see so the less better so yeah I just got this notebook I take notes on lectures and stuff like that typical typical stuff so I also have this book. This is Mosby's Comprehensive Review of Radiography. Um, as you guys know, I am a senior, which means that ARRT exam is coming up. Oh, <laughs> but this book is great to help you study. It has a lot of practice questions and um, one of our classes is literally like based on this book right here. So. I keep this book with me so next I have my folders um, I have three folders one for each class and then one for my clinical internship this one right here is for my clinical internship it's a cute cheetah print leopard pattern and this is what the inside looks like Ooh. So this is how I keep track of everything that I do, all the exams that I do in the hospital, the things that I'll need to turn in in order to get my degree. And for example, this sheet they gave us just tells us, it helps us keep track of all the exams that we've done. Uh, as you can see, so we need a total of 51 and right now I'm at 49. So I need two more mandatory exams and then I'll be done, I'll be good, I'll be complete. So that comes in handy and that paper we actually don't turn in is just for us to keep and keep track for ourselves so hopefully you guys will get one too all right so next I just have a calculator yes we do unfortunately have to do math and radiology um, it's pretty basic it's not too much it's not too hard but there is some math so I keep my scientific calculator for the focus and then I also just keep an extra mask I think I got this from the hospital just in case I forget a mask or they don't have any more which happens they do run out of masks so I keep that and then this is just I call it my emergency kit um this is not everyday use stuff this is like special occasion stuff that I keep just in case I'll show you guys what's in there Okay, so for example, I keep some wet wipes just in case to clean my hands. Some cash because you never know. And then in here I keep some medicines uh, like Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, Tab, Motion Sickness, all that. Because, oof, you just never know. <laughs> and I also keep a nail file. This was hand sanitizer, but I don't know what. This looks like milk. Oh yeah, no, we're getting rid of that. <laughs> but I did keep an extra hand sanitizer. And then just some pads and bandages. So yeah, like I said, this is my, I call this my emergency kit, my emergency safety kit, just in case. All right, guys, and that is it. That is all that's in my bag. Um, like I said, I really like this bag. I got it from Amazon for super cheap. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. 
Um, good luck to all of you guys if you're interested in the radiology field or if you're currently a student or if you just got accepted wherever you're at in your journey good luck you can do it if I can do it I know that you can do it and um, even if you're not in the radiology field you're just in the medical field we do have to carry a lot of stuff and it is a lot so girl I feel you but if this is your goal this is your dream I just recommend to keep going do what you gotta do get in get out get ahead <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in medical field videos or just a young college student vlogging, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.